Hello again. I want to speak to you about a very another very important subject, uh, eating habits. I know majority of us don't like to hear about uh, this subject, but it is very important, probably the most important, I would say. Why I would say it is the most important? Because if our health is bad, everything else will be bad. When you have health problem, you will not be able to enjoy anything. And someone with health problem will be able to confirm this. For example, what's the point of being rich if you have health problem? You always suffer of something. You, you are always in, in hospitals. You are always under medication. How will you be able to enjoy? How will you be able to enjoy f- your family? How will you be able to smile from your heart if you have health problems? That's why eating habits, it's a very important um, subject. It's something we really need to look after because the majority of health problems appear because of our um, um, uh, eating habits. Yes, it is, it is very important. You have to analyze what you are eating to see where those habits take you. That's why uh, uh, we need to read a bit about it. We need to know what we are supposed to eat, what our body needs. You need, yes. I, I, it's like an instruction manual. You need to know. You, you cannot just live and eat whatever supermarket sells you. No, I, it's not possible because supermarkets will sell whatever makes them money, my friend. They don't care what they put in their foods. No. They will just make it look nice and tasty. Because they know that us, consumers, are first of all attracted by what we see. And then if it tastes good, oh, we don't really care what is inside. And then all those will form habits into our lives. We, We develop them. Uh, uh, the pleasures for f- for things which are not good uh, for us and will be much harder to get rid of them. That's why we need to know what my body needs. Do I give my body enough water? Do my body get enough uh, vitamins from vegetables, from fruits? Do I get enough minerals? Is the salt I'm using the right one or is just a substitute which which makes my body worse you need to consider all those also exercise is very important not necessarily to go to a gym not necessarily to run an hour a day but walking walking is very important at least 30 minutes a day we need to walk not walking around the house when you work this one also helps it's very good we need to combine our mental exercise, if you, if you have a job which involves sitting in front of a computer, with physical exercise. For example, it's very good if you do gardening. I don't know, maybe a, a, twice a week. or But walking should be done daily. Yes, instead of using your car, you use, you use walking to go to buy bread or going to the bank and whatever. Find a way. Take your, ch- if you have children, take them to the park and run there around them for, for half an hour. Y- you cannot expect to be healthy living. Um, uh, 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 m- many of us want magical things. Oh, I, want, I need to lose weight. I have blood pressure problems. I need to lose weight. How do I lose weight? You know, the doctor prescribed me to take medicine all my life. And you just accept this. Why is the easiest thing? And you'll always tell to yourself, I have health problems. Nothing can be done about it. But when the doctor said, you need to lose weight, because this will help your blood pressure, you ignore. Why? Because it's not in, in the prescription. You take it just as an advice. And that advice is more important than all the medicine you take. Because if you lose weight, then you will not need the medicine. 
or maybe you'll need it just for a short while. And what do you do? You go home and you eat whatever pleases you. And you forgot that what pleases you brought you where you are. Health is very important, my friend. F- f- health, health, um, uh, eating habits uh, shorten our life. Eating habits take all the pleasures, yes, and do, even if we live, is, li- is not like living. I know people, I know people who have health problems. Every time I speak to them, they always complain about this. I, I, I'm not rude, but sometimes you, you get even fed up of hearing of their health problems. Why? Because they know what they have to do and they don't do it. They don't do it. How, how I will, uh, uh, how, how I will, let's say, it's, it's not about that you don't have mercy, you don't have understanding, but if the person doesn't help herself, how can I help you? How? You know the way and you refuse to change. Then what can I do to you? I can't do nothing. Then you also have to stop complaining. You've chose to live this way, yes? Then go ahead. It's your right, it's your life. You choose, I choose for myself. But leave others to live their lives as well. Please. Consider, cons- consider your eating habits. Consider what you teach their children to eat. Consider all those things because, as I mentioned, look around you. The majority of health problems stems from, from food habits. Yes, it is true. If you go out, all fast foods are full of people. Full Yes, and it's not the it's not the seller's fault. It's the one who buys. As I mentioned, they are there to make money. You have the right to choose for yourself. You either choose it wisely or unwisely. No one can choose for you. No one can destroy your health. Only you can. Is the is one of uh, the other thing you are responsible. In life, we are responsible for every action we take. Therefore, please, start reading a bit of this this manual. Read about how your body works and what, what I- I- it needs. Don't ignore it, because this body keeps you alive. Gives, this body keeps you strong or weak. This body gives you life or death. Long life or short life. It can be long life but with problems. This is my message for today. Take care. Bye.